What is up guys, this is Cody, or Xcode, I'm bringing you a commentary on the map Terminal on Modern Warfare 3. This is a game of Capture the Flag. I've been playing a lot of Capture the Flag lately. Uh, don't exactly know why, I think I just... Usually when I play this game, I usually stick to like one or two game types and just play that all night, or usually just go from Search to Team Deathmatch and Domination, but I've been playing Capture the Flag a lot. I mean, I, I, I'm not much of an objective player. I know that I've stated in my last video that I hate it when people don't play objectively, but that's mostly on game types like Search and Destroy, Demolition, things that you really have to play objective to actually win the game. <clears throat> but anyways, um, the story I want to tell in this gameplay uh, happens to be a very funny story. <laughs> and uh, it happened like maybe like a year and a half ago, up to two years. I'm not exactly sure. Actually, you know what? I think it was, ra I think it was this summer. Um, I mean, I don't know the entire full story of why we were doing this, but I thought it was pretty funny, and I thought I'd share it with you guys. Um, me and a bunch of friends were hanging out around town and just chilling. This was back when I wasn't on probation. We were smoking a little pot, having a little fun. Shit that we used to do, and uh, it was fun. But uh, we were chilling with this kid, Rob, and... Everybody hates him. Like he's such a faggot. Like there, there's no there's no question about it. Like I usually, honestly, like I'm not the kind of person to hate on people, and I'm not the kind of person to actually like call people out and like start shit with people. But he is such a faggot. Like this kid is weird as fuck. Like I went over his house one time, and he he has like 20 pet rabbits. He took his pet rabbit out, like let it let it go wild, shot and killed it, skinned it and cooked it and ate it. Like, what kind of person does that? Like, their own pet pet rabbit. Like, it wasn't like... <clears throat> excuse me. It wasn't like, oh, I'm going to go hunting today and get some rabbit. It's just like, I'm going to kill my own pet rabbit, skin it alive, and eat it. Like, what kind of person does that? I don't know. I mean, I, I guess I'm just not... I don't know. I'm not the kind of hunting person, I guess. But still, like, your pet rabbit? I, mean, I, I don't know. <laughs> this kid is just weird as fuck. Like... He's straight up redneck, and I don't know. He's just really fucking annoying, and everybody uses him for his weed and alcohol. And he he still doesn't know that. But <laughs> um, besides that, um, he had this friend that I have never, I've never met anybody so redneck in my entire life. Like I, I really don't care about rednecks. Like I'm not, I don't hate on anybody like specifically. But there's not one person I've ever met in my entire life that has shown more like th this is the most redneck person I've ever met like I can't I, I don't know how to explain it more than that it's just like the most redneck person he like he showed up full cowboy gear on cowboy hat cowboy boots dip in his mouth like fucking Budweiser shirt like <laughs> it was just full on like there's no question about it and he was being such a faggot the entire day and everybody was just like dude let's get the fuck out of here this kid's so dumb and he was just saying like stupid shit, making bets like, I bet I could throw this knife against the tree for 20 bucks. And people were just like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> like, I don't even know why Rob brought him with him. But I mean, I guess two rednecks like to chill together. But, ugh, like, he was just playing with this knife all day. Just throwing it at the tree, throwing it at the tree. I'll bet you 20 bucks I can climb up there and get it. Like, just shut the fuck up. <laughs> but anyways, back to the story. So, we were walking through the tobacco fields near my house to find somewhere to smoke pot, I believe. I think that was why we were walking through there. And then, all of a sudden, I, me, me and my group of friends were way behind me. And they were way ahead of me, way ahead of us, like, just Rob, maybe one other person, and... Fuck, did I forget his name already? Jesus. The redneck kid. I don't fucking know his name. Wow, I don't even know, I don't even remember his name. It was, like, Doug or something like that. Fucking, like... We were walking through the woods, and all I heard was, like, laughing. So I thought they were just smoking weed or something. And then he, all I heard was, Dude, look at this bee's nest. <laughs> and, he, and he's just like, Yo, watch this. He fucking, it was an underground bee's nest. And I don't know if you guys have ever experienced stepping in an underground bee's nest, but it's not a fun activity. Like, I don't know what was going through this kid's mind when he did this, but he fall on, like, curb stomped the bee's nest. And... All I heard was just like, oh, 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 what the fuck, like, oh, like, and I was just sitting there like, all right, peace, like, I started running, like, all my, all me and my friends just started running, 
and all I could hear was like horror movie set. It's like, ah, ah, bees, ah, and I was like, wow, like this kid's so dumb, and I was actually kind of scared because I stepped on an underground bees nest at camp one time, and I got stung like fucking 15 times, and that shit's not fun. Like bees nest, bee stings hurt. And I'm sure you guys have gotten stung by a bee, but 15 stings at once is not fun. He got stung like 50 times, like 30, t like not 30, like three times on his dick, like fucking all over his body, and he 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 like took all his clothes off, started running around the fucking, and that's what that's the number one thing you don't do when you disturb a bee's nest to start running, because the more carbon dioxide you let leave, like let out of your body, the more the bees are gonna want to fucking start attacking you even more. He was so dumb. He t took off all his clothes. Because they were like in his clothes and shit. They were stinging him all over his body. And he was fucking just screaming like a fucking banshee dude. Like, I've never heard anybody scream like that. Like, he was screaming like straight up girl. Like, keep in mind he's like 16 probably. Maybe longer. I don't even know. But like, he was screaming like a fucking girl, dude. Like, he was so dumb. And, <laughs> I don't know. I just thought that was kind of funny. I wanted to share it with you guys. I, I just thought of it this morning. And I started laughing to myself. <laughs> He's the dumbest kid I've ever met. Like, guys, look at this. I'm gonna step in an underground beehive. Like, what the fuck do you think's gonna happen? <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay and this commentary. Uh, I don't know. This is just a funny story I thought I'd share with you guys. <laughs> this kid is so dumb. I don't know. Fucking, I hope you guys enjoyed this second time. I'm just gonna say it twice in every video because I just happen to do it every time, so. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you guys later. I'm just gonna leave you to the end of the game. I think there's about mm, maybe 30 seconds left. Um, if you like this video and wanna see more commentaries and gameplays, uh, leave. Or if you're a new person watching my video, feel free to subscribe because it's free, man. It's free. <laughs> and uh, show some support by leaving a like and a comment. As always, have a nice day, guys. This was Cody.